Son? What do you want? Well, you know. Thought maybe we should talk. I'm gonna find Diane. I know the idea of farm life doesn't interest you, son. Believe me, I do understand. This will surprise you, but when I was a lad, I was dead set against taking on anything my father left me. I couldn't imagine anything worse. Then why are you always having a go at me about it? I suppose because you're my son. And I'd like nothing more than for you to carry on the family tradition. Dream on. Yeah, but I do respect the fact that you want to work with computers, and all I've ever asked you to do is to help out a bit here and there. It's hard work for one man. Well, you've got Butch. And anyway, it obviously doesn't pay, otherwise Mum wouldn't have gone to work at the diner. Yeah, well, your mum knows what I think about that. Anyway, this is between you and me. You know, we have to work as a team, all of us, because we're a family and we, we all have to support each other. I mean, of course, there'll be differences of opinion, but at the end of the day, we have to stand together. For Andy's sake, as much as anything else, his adoption might depend on us you know, being able to show that we're a happy family. Andy, Andy, Andy. What do you mean by that? He's all you're bothered about. Oh, don't be stupid. Why don't you just leave the farm to him? Because I'm certainly not going to want it. Robert, I don't know why you have to be so rude all the time. It's a joke, this place. You want us all to muck in and we still have no money. Yeah, well, there's more to life than money. What, like being old and miserable? A slave driver. And that's what I am to you, is it? No wonder you want to adopt Andy. When he's part of your family, you'll have your own little unpaid farmhand. That's enough! More cheap labour for you to exploit, just like Mum says. <laughs> 